In Jungar County, 230 kilometers southwest of Hohat, Inner Mongolia, stand the tree shrines of Jungar Village and the Thousand Year Pine. Many of those who visit the trees seek relief from illness and often travel great distances to reach their location. Since the Liao dynasty, Mongolian religious practice has had a substantial influence on traditional Chinese belief systems in Jungar County. Tree worship's survival can be understood as it has gradually become a part of Mongolian and Chinese folk religion through religious syncretism with its incorporation of communist iconography. Recent government interest in the preservation of such sites and recognition of Buddhism as the official religion of the People's Republic of China has been instrumental in their reconstruction and maintenance. Healers, holy men, and local officials tend many such shrines to assist visitors in their worship or search for a remedy. The trees, forming part of the folk practitioner's medico-religious tradition, are cared for and respected, as it is believed that they too can effect a cure. <laughs> <laughs> For the shaman, the other world is shaped like a tree, the world tree. Beating a drum, shaking a rattle, or dancing with a sword, a shaman sings the songs that alert his spirit allies that they are needed. His trance deepens until his soul slips out of his body and flies across the world to the tree that stands at the center of the universe. Then he begins to climb. If he goes up into the branches towards the leaves, his destination is the heavens, culminating in the Lord of the universe. If he or his spirit ally goes down into the roots of the world tree, then his destination is the underworld, where the shaman's ancestor spirit is consulted as to the nature of a sick patient's illness. The dialogue between ancestor spirit and ally is heard by all since it comes out of the shaman's mouth in the form of shouts, songs, and other sounds. The point of this performance is healing, and the conscious or otherwise active imagination technique of acting out the discovery and defeat of illness is a part of both modern and folk psychology. Sixty-eight-year-old Fang Chang Tsai is a Shenguan, or Chinese shaman, a leader of the gods and a practitioner of Qimen Dunjia, the way of invisibility. Literally translated, this term means from the world, go in and out. Dating from the Song Dynasty, approximately 1000 BP, Qimen Dunja's visual effects are much like those of a stage magician manipulating illusion. Along with Chang Tsai's other performance activities, it produces a suspension of disbelief in the audience necessary to treat certain types of illness and has been compared to modern Qigong. His other skills include the preparation of simple herbal remedies and fortune-telling, which has also been associated with folk psychology. At 12 years of age, he poured boiling oil on his hands and face, receiving a vision of two red spheres which entered his chest 
and his back. He was unconscious for two days. This was the beginning of his inspiration. In Jungar Banner, there are many Shenguans, some blending ancient and modern philosophies, such as animism, Taoism, Buddhism, ancestor worship, and Marxism. Occasionally, their performances are held in the vicinity of tree shrines. <laughs> During similar ceremonies, shamans among ancient Mongols and other nationalities on the Mongolian plateau danced and stamped in a circle around sacred trees, which designated the performer as a leader of a clan or group. This practice was also related to a non-linear or circular view of nature and creation. Tree worship slowly became a part of Mongolian folk religion while shamanism declined during the spread of Buddhism in the Yuan dynasty. Chinese immigrants from Shanxi province came later to settle in what was once a predominantly Mongolian area outside the Great Wall, adopting many of their customs and religious practices. This means heaven and the earth protect this tree. Protect and the tree became a god. As elements this, of shamanism and Buddhism are both contained in Mongolian folk people, religion, tree worship can be considered an offshoot of Buddhist or Lamaist practice. This tree bless people have a happy life. 